Greetings, my name is Peter Alexander. I specialize in character creator related workflows. In this video, I'm going to detail the process of adding physics to an article of clothing for this character, namely his cape. I'll show you a few other tricks along the way. This feature leverages the Blender pipeline and character creator tools add-ons for Blender and character creator. This character's outfit consists of several layers of clothing and proper layering is important when utilizing various functions in character creator, such as the conform and auto hide mesh features. However, physics are currently not impacted by these layers. By default, if you have no clothing items, your first imported clothing item will start at the number one slot. Then after that, the number two and three and so on. The clothing layer menu allows you to rearrange these layers. Originally, the layers were limited to 20 or so. Now the limit is 252, so there's plenty of room. The exceptions being the gloves and footwear slots, which are still limited to two layers. I originally created these items in ZBrush, and by default, the same material name is applied to all items imported through GoZ. However, Blender is strict in not allowing materials or items to share the same name. For this reason, you must change the names of the materials before importing them into Blender. I will show you the cape's weight mapping settings. For the most part, I've weighted the cape to the spine two bone, which is just below the neck. I find this function is best for capes, but your settings may vary. I would probably not weight the cape heavily to the arms or legs, as these bones move too often in a way that a real cape would not follow. Since we are using physics, I want the cape to move and follow the character, but not be impacted by a lot of movement beyond the torso. When you are ready, export the character using the Blender Pipeline add-on. Then go to Blender, go to the Character Creator Tools add-on, and import the FBX you just saved. Using the Edit and Sculpting tools, I will fix the various clipping issues that are apparent upon import. Note that the cape is not draped. I am leaving that for the physics. Also note that there are no normal maps on this cape. In, in my experience, clothing folds that are applied by normal maps tend to look odd when actual physics are applied. So I tend to leave clothing fold normals off for an item such as a cape.
For whatever reason, I find most imported items need to have smooth shading applied. After this, in edit mode, you can recalculate the normals by average. This is not entirely necessary, but it saves from having to deal with the wrongly calculated normals in the character creator. A clothing weight map can be applied through the cloth area settings of the add-on. When add weight map is initiated, you can paint the map as you would a regular texture. Remember that white adds physics and black negates physics. A black weight map will have no physics, but adding black in areas can serve to paint your clothing item. I found that using the gradient tool was the best method of applying a weight map for a cape. Though getting the right area to initiate the gradient can take some trial and error. When you're done weight map painting, select done weight painting and save your map. Here's the final physics weight map in UV mode with and without the wireframe overlay. Then export the character through the add-on and import into Character Creator. This process takes a minute or two, so I time lapse through it. After the character has been re-imported, you can see that the weight map has been automatically loaded as well. If you want to adjust the weight map further, you can play with the brightness and contrast settings. The hidden mesh settings will be lost in this process, so they must be set up again. Using the animation player, I can see that I need to add some collision shapes to the main character to prevent clipping with the cape. Collision shapes, based on my understanding, lessen the resources necessary to calculate physics. If you were to calculate between meshes with high polygon de density, many systems would stutter. There's currently no physics on the rest of the clothing, 
So I'm setting up these colliders so that the cape will also not clip those items. Colliders can be scaled on the X, Y, and Z axis, rotated, repositioned, as well as can be changed from capsule to sphere shape. With the collider set up, I'm going to try another physics test. The new animation player in Character Creator 4 is very useful in troubleshooting physics before a character creator gets sent over to iClone for more detailed animation. If you're still having trouble at this stage, I would play around with the physics settings a bit and be patient with the results. I found that the cape shrank a bit during some simulations, so I adjusted the tether limit. Also adjusting the dampening settings can add or decrease air resistance. There is a breakdown of these properties listed in the online iClone manual. While this demo covered some relatively common knowledge, I hope there are some tips along the way that are beneficial to your workflow. The Bender pipeline and character created tools add-ons make the process much more streamlined. And on that note, I'll end this video. Keep learning.